what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's your boy Vizzy. this is the channel where tech is not everything it's the only way so it's not um but today's i'm not reviewing anything really it's more of an unboxing um i purchased a gimbal again okay so this is the rs3 i purchased this today and i know it's probably a year or so two years since this gimbal is out and i just purchased it but before i purchased i've been using this since this came out this is the rs3 mini um it has been my little uh it's actually the one and only gimbal that i have been using since i've been um doing a lot of uh, videography professionally since i've been doing it professionally and this video might help somebody that was new in the biz like i did you know most of the time the videos that i do is for my purposes uh youtube content creating i just you know but now that i'm doing it on a more wider scale i'm um, doing weddings i'm doing um bar mitzvahs uh parties anniversary stuff like those i get a lot of requests for those so and i've been doing pretty well doing them <laughs> you know saying uh real estate buying the rs3 mini was you know was a uh, i think that was a good deal at the time like yo let me get the rs3 mini because i don't want a big gimbal and stuff like that until <laughs> until you do weddings until you do weddings and that's when everything you know you're like damn i do need a bigger gimbal so i went ahead and i you know i hit up a friend of mine media cracking check him out he's pretty dope at what he does um you know he gave me a good recommendation like yo you need to get the rs3 and i was torn between the rs3 and the rs3 pro and i'm like you know like why not just get get you know the the, the best one and you know he let me know like it's not really said the best one it's just they both are very similar the rs3 pro is carbon fiber a little lighter and it holds more payload than the rs3 but prefer the dji brand i had another brand um i can't even remember what it was and i sold it because it was too much to do so with the dj it was too much when you set up you still got to plug wires in i just like to click record and go and dji does that so yo let's unbox this so the rc it's my first time i i'm the box is a little different i didn't get a combo kit because i don't use follow focus none of that stuff i'm not a i'm not a hollywood uh producer or nothing like that so yo let's get into this thing all right here we go uh, it's nice it's definitely like Fossey say we pluck him bam, and file him all right so typical boxing um uh, we just here for the gimbal, right? <laughs> get the gimbal. All right, so let's get with the accessories. I didn't get a handle because I already have a handle from Small Rig from the first for my gimbal that I used the RS Mini. So these are wires, uh, lens balance, balance for the lens. Yeah, I forgot I got a camera up here. All right, so I think this is a cable, a charging cable. Yeah, let's take it out. Unboxings usually be fun, but not like that no more. So these are type C cables, love type C. Um, and I think this is a lens holder. You hold the lens, depends if you're using a long lens. You use this, to use this for that balance right there. Um, what else we got in here? Oh, there's some more stuff in here. We got the mount. It's the, just like the one I had on my eye. Oh, it's a little it's longer it's actually longer yeah it is it is longer than the one that i have on my rs3 mini of course it's a bigger gimbal yeah I'm trying to make this short because there's gonna be a lot of editing for me I, I do all my edits myself um is this nope they just tricked us that's empty last night when i got that dji logo on there like that let's see i mean it's cool but to be honest uh this is from my mazel um slider uh it was remote slider it's a lot bigger <laughs> i think i prefer this over so i might use this on it and put this on the rs main camera this is the pl um, plate for the camera Ooh, look at that it's nice okay that right here it's that battery base that you get 
with the RS Pro and the RS3. The RS3 Pro and the RS3. You don't get that with the the mini. The mini is just, you know, just it's already on there. Can't get rid of it. The ex-girlfriend you can't get rid of. That's it. That's the handle on that one right there. So yeah. Let me see if I got some power. It's dead, yo. It's dead, okay. We charge it up later. Let's get to the big boy. Let's open this thing. Rough. Savage right here, man. Savage right here. Rough. Rough. Yeah. All right, now this is a lot bigger. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that. Lock and load it. Ready? Oh, I gotta probably press a button. The back button here. I don't know, wait a minute, wait a minute. You gotta uh, make sure you're putting this thing here right. All right, so what do I do here? Again, read the manual. I'll probably figure it out. But read the manual so you don't have that problem like I do. Maybe it's a slide, like, you know what I'm saying? Connectors in the back button. I, I eventually figure it out, so. Oh, yeah, you got to move this switch right here. I know I'll figure it out. So if you want to unlock it, you just switch it, okay? Switch right here. Move it to lock or you just leave it to open. It automatically goes to lock. Okay, I like it. Put this thing on here. We're going hunting. Going hunting here. Okay. That's the stuff right there. Yeah, that's it. All right. It looks pretty heavy, but what I do, reason why I get this one, well, I, I like the features. You know, it auto locks. You don't have to adjust anything, it just locks. But so, you know, comment down below and let me know if the tilts, if I should get the tilts of plate power pass through. I've, I've been doing a lot of research on it, and a lot of people, a lot of people commented uh, when I go on um, the comments on Amazon or b and h saying that that's if the d tap work you know you're lucky if you get the d tap to work um like 50 or 60 percent of the time so that's kind of a deterrent for me so I, it would be really handy you know just because doing what the main reason i need a bigger gimbal so i can probably put my uh v mount battery at the bottom and power my camera from it i think that's really dope um and the fact that i don't have to uh adjust this actually right here every time i need to relax to put it down for a little bit so i'm excited for this i'm probably gonna I have a wedding coming up in may yeah April. may yes in may may 4th i got a wedding so this definitely i'll be using this at the wedding and i might do a follow-up on our behind the scene or something i got my boy he always he likes that stuff so you know and another thing that i like is that switch that's right here um instead of doing it on the screen because sometimes my hands touch the screen on the mini so i like the fact that they have a switch for you can switch from ptf or pf or fpv mode with just a switch without and have to toggle that on screen <laughs> you can toggle it instead of touching it and even though the screen is locked on the mini i still have a little problem in terms of touching the screen you know and i'm like oh i made the wrong touch you know i'm doing this it's in fpv mode and i'm like oh why is it doing like you know it's I'm like oh crap fpv and i i just want like maybe a pan a pan follow or maybe i want a pan tilt follow you know what i mean i don't want fpv mode because it, it gets crazy especially if you're going low and stuff and you don't realize that you accidentally hit that screen so i like everything is more toggled on the rs3 in the rs3 pro um i don't regret buying this instead of the pro because i'm not doing film and I'm, I'm using mirrorless camera the biggest lens i'll use in when it comes to video is the 24 to 70 that's the biggest one i'll use my 20 my 200 my my 70 to 200 is only for photography i don't even use that for video and most of the time i'm running gunning i have a 50 f 1.2 on here and if i'm using the um my fx if i'm using my fx 30 i'll use the 24 g master on that to give me a good 36 times um 24 
um, times 1.5 crop that's like 36 um, millimeter so it's perfect and that I usually put my uh, my uh, FX30 on which I think it is so that's more like light work and more of my heavy work so yo it's an unboxing it's not a review but um you know tell me down below have let's have a conversation don't forget to like and share my channel please i appreciate everybody on here you know so let's have a conversation about the rs3 if it was a good buy for me or what you think it's your boy visit we're gone